Welcome to Feel Good TV. Have you ever wondered how your personal trainer actually learns all the skills and the knowledge? Well, today I've snuck into a boot camps Australia HQ where we are going to find out what trainers really get up to in their spare time. So let's go check it out. Do you never believe who has been flowing in all the way from San Diego? We have the kettlebell king, Steve Cotter, right here working out right now. So let's go interrupt the little session that he's doing and find out what he's going to be teaching all the Aussie fitness professionals right here this weekend. Hey Steve, how are you Hi. doing? I'm good, hi Joe. It's great to have you here Thank in you. Australia, so welcome. It's awesome that you're here teaching some of the Australian fitness professionals a little bit about kettlebells. Now I understand that you're actually the founder of the International Kettlebells and Fitness Federation, right? Yes, that's correct, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the Federation. Okay, well, uh, we're, we, we do courses all over the world and um, our purpose is to educate uh, fitness professionals primarily to give them high quality education uh, so they can teach people safe technique, effective technique and uh, we also believe in mind-body integration so we're doing things that not only are beneficial physically but beneficial psychologically and also um, give an opportunity for fitness professionals to be able to develop their career teaching uh, people something they're passionate about. That's great. I really love how you're talking a little bit about the mind-body as well as the physical side of the teachings as well. Okay, so what we're going to do this morning is Steve's going to take me through just a couple of different kettlebell activities. Now, Steve, what's something a little bit different? that okay. I, I train a little bit of kettlebells myself, so I know a little bit about swings, activities like that. Okay. You got anything up your sleeve you can teach me? Yeah, I think today we'll do a little bit of juggling. Juggling? Yeah, juggling is really fun. and. Really? Uh, engages your mind, it's good for coordination and get a great workout. How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Okay. I mean, I've juggled with some tennis balls before. Is okay. it kind of like that? Sort of, but they're heavier and they have a handle. <laughs> okay. okay, let's do okay. this. We're going to start you with an 8 kilo. Okay, okay. 8 kilos. It's a nice color for you. Oh yeah, love it. And I'll use a 16 kilo and that's a, usually uh, men will use a 16 kilo, women will use an 8 kilo for juggling, okay? Okay. So you know the swing, you've already done the swing. Yes. So most of the juggles are going to be based around just variations of the swing. Okay. okay? Great. Okay, so you're going to follow me through. Just remember a very important point, quick feet or happy feet. Okay? Alright. All right. So you're going to start with a swing with two hands and then when it gets to the top you're going to release it and you're going to catch with your arms against your body. catch by the hand. You start like this, and then you're just going to throw it back and forth. You don't want to overthrow it because the momentum is going to pull you out of balance. You're just going to kind of pop it from one side and release and catch to another. Okay? Back and forth. Pop it too. Don't let it burn. Okay. It's a heavy hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> you can feed the whole family with that. Yeah. Okay. So figure eight, 
is passing it between the legs in a figure eight pattern. Yep, from front to back, that's it. We can take something like a basic push-up and increase the challenge. You have to push straight through. You don't want to let it fall. I know you can do it. A lot more challenging. <laughs> so you're having to work really hard to stabilize your body. Hold the plank. Exactly. So that, that turbo charge is your Yes, exactly. I need to build on my strength. <laughs> let me show you one more, okay? Yeah. Normally you would do a clean by flipping it, which you've already learned. You flip it in your hand, okay? So now you're gonna do a clean, but you're not gonna flip it. You're gonna keep the bottom of the kettlebell facing up. And I have to have the load right over my base. If it's outside, I'm gonna lose control. So I have to have it, and I have to really squeeze my grip, squeeze my abs, squeeze my glutes, keep the whole body nice and firm. And hold it, squeeze tight, hold it, and release. Okay, and do one more. From here. Bottoms up, keep it there, and you're gonna press it overhead. Bring it down, and repeat. And that's working a lot of grip strength, a lot of core stability, and tremendous concentration. You have to keep your eye on the bow, literally. Bottoms up. Concentration, one more. Full body, core, Full body. everything in this one movement. Exactly. It's amazing. There you have it. That was kettlebell juggling right here with one of the world's most renowned kettlebells and fitness instructors, Steve Cotter. So great honor. Thank you for sharing all of those skills with us today. And uh, Thank you. I'll let you get back to the workshop now with all the trainers. All right. Thanks a lot.